Articulate QuizMaker makes creating interactive branching really easy. Now, when you're first setting up a question, if you're using the default feedback and a user makes a selection, click Submit, the pop-up box right here, this is the default feedback. It's a, a correct or incorrect type feedback. It provides a high level uh, description of the answer or what's correct or what's incorrect. But if you're looking for a little bit more, you wanna provide a little more context around each of the choices that the learner makes, you're gonna to wanna to use QuizMaker's built-in branching. So here's an example of this. Let me uh, open a new example. So same scenario right here. This time it's using branching. So when the learner makes a choice, either one of these three choices, right? We set the scenario up right here, video branching, our video conferencing, Skype, or teleconference. What we're actually gonna do, rather than give the pop-up box, we wanna send learner to a new slide, a new slide that has custom feedback that provides the context around why each answer, why the selected answer was incorrect, and then why the correct answer is the best choice. This is really easy to set up using the branching feature in QuizMaker. So if I jump over here to QuizMaker, I wanna show you the original quiz first. This is a default setting where we have the challenge question up top and the three choices below. Now at the very bottom, you'll see that we have the feedback. Now this is the default feedback option. We have feedback for the correct choice and feedback for the incorrect choice but we actually see that we have two incorrect choices, video conferencing and teleconference. Well, we wanna provide that personal feedback, we can make a single change, and that change is up here under feedback. So we wanna change it from question to by answer. Now watch what happens. When we select by answer, we actually get these little more buttons right here that enable us to select a new slide for the feedback slide. So we're not gonna have that pop-up box, we're actually gonna take learners to a specific slide based on the choices they make. So let me jump over to the updated version where you can see how this works. So I'm gonna open up the same question, this is just the, the updated version. So everything here looks the same, right? The question and the choices. But over here, we've actually enabled the branching to go to one of three slides. So bring that up. So this is the first choice video conferencing. I can see that it's not the correct choice. I'm gonna to branch to the video conferencing slide. This is an entirely new slide that has feedback specific to the video conferencing choice. It's gonna tell you why the video conferencing isn't the best choice, and then tell you why the correct choice, Skype, is. Go ahead, and the next choice, Skype, will branch to a new slide called Skype, right? And then finally, the last choice, teleconferences, will branch to that. So let's go ahead and just open up one of those slides to take a look at what they look like. Now, these are just blank slides. Now, blank slides are available from uh, the insert menu. And really all they are is just a blank slide, very similar to what you'd see in a PowerPoint slide. So I have a title right here, but I didn't bother to enter text in this field. I actually did that over here in slide view. Now slide view is really where we get that blank slide approach. We can see that we have a custom background. We have some feedback uh, graphics for correct and incorrect. And then we have our text choices uh, explaining why that choice wasn't the best choice and then explaining why Skype in this example was the best choice. Then we also faded out a graphic right here, really just to de-emphasize the, um, the, the choice that wasn't even selected. Close out of there. And then we just did one for each of the other two choices. So on this slide, we're actually gonna branch based on the decision the learner makes to one of three slides. And that's how easy it is to set up branching in QuizMaker.